Hey people, thank you for tuning in. I'm Priyansh from Team Signals, and in this video, we'll monitor your Elixir applications with Open Telemetry and Signals. So let's get started. And for the purpose of this video, we'll uh, use this blog post. Links will be in the description. This article was actually contributed by a Signals community member uh, named Ricardo. You can uh, check it out or him over here. And then let's move on and uh, you can read about the introduction for cloud native applications. Open telemetry provides a framework to set up observability and what it is. And then move on with open telemetry and signals and yeah, installing signals. So uh, there are basically four things that we are going to do in this video. We'll first install signals locally on my M1 MacBook Air and then clone the sample Elixir application. And then we instrument the app with open telemetry and then set the open telemetry exported endpoint to a specified port of the machine where signals is installed so that uh, open telemetry can send data to it and then finally we use signals dashboards to analyze metrics and traces so let's get started with installing signals as you can see signals can be installed on mac os and uh, linux computers in just three easy steps by following a simple install script so if you are using on Mac OS, then you must manually install Docker engine and then you're good to go. So just copy the script below and uh, go to my iTerm terminal and paste it over here. I have Signals demo uh, directory on my desktop, so this should be fine. It's cloning, uh, yeah, it's detecting my OS and then starting Docker, as you can see over here. Uh, it's currently pulling the latest container images and then it will, um, start with creating those yeah i will wait for a while for this to complete and i'll skip the video uh, when it gets complete so yeah the installation is complete you can see the eight containers up and running and let me share my email real quick priyansh at signals.io and hit enter so the front end is successfully running on uh, localhost 3301. Let me show you over here. So yeah, this is the first screen, the login screen that you will see after installing Signos. Signos provides a kind of role-based uh, access control feature. So you can create an account with admin access and then invite your team members to collaborate. So since I have my login credentials, I'll just log in and you can create an account if you are the admin. All right. So the four applications that you see currently on the screen are actually the dummy applications that Signos ships with. You can also remove them if you wish a clean installation of Signos. So let's move back to the blog and follow the steps. So uh, you can visit documentation if you want to know how to install Signos with Docker's form or Helm charts, just click over here. As you can see, uh, you can access the UI at 3301, which we just did. And now coming to the main part that is instrumenting an Elixir Phoenix application with open telemetry. And for the purpose of this video, we are currently focusing on the most common combos of the Elixir world that's uh, Phoenix and Acto. So for this to work, we need to add the required dependencies to your mix.exs file. So you can click uh, copy over here or uh, We'll see in a while because we have a kind of sample app prepared for you that we just talked about. And then step two says to configure the Elixir applications to export telemetry data. So for that, you just have to put uh, your app name, anything you want. And then uh, this is uh, the hotel collector endpoint that you need to uh, signify. So localhost here signifies that Signals is installed locally on this machine. If Signals is on cloud or somewhere else, and you need to provide the IP address of that machine over here. And then we'll change, uh, uh, make the changes uh, here and this file, uh, we'll just show you in a moment. And then finally initialize uh, telemetry handlers. So as it is documented in the Open Telemetry Phoenix and Open Telemetry Ecto, you can visit these pages, uh, but let me show you over here, uh, Open Telemetry Ecto and Open Telemetry Phoenix. Uh, links will be in the description below. So in place of, uh, your app name you should uh, replace it with your app name and yeah that's that's pretty much it you can then uh, instrument your application with open telemetry so yeah this is the link to the github repository i have just opened it up over here uh, hotel uh, elixir hotel sample so let me uh, clone this repository so i can show you how it works so um yeah let me go over here get clone all right, it's currently getting cloned. 
as you can see there is signals and this uh, app over here you, you don't have to have signals and the sample app in one directory it, they can be anywhere but they should be on the same machine so let me cd into it okay cd and open it up in my vs code editor then go to config and config.exs so you can see uh, let's ignore these warnings for now yeah here you can set the endpoints so we are on localhost so let me let's keep it like that and yeah we do not have to change much things over here to install this application just we need to go to the readme section of this sample app and it says to install dependencies run mix depths dot get so let me copy it over here and paste it so it will take a while and install all the dependencies and uh, yeah i'll skip the part of the video where the dependencies are being installed it will take a while all right as you can see the dependencies are being installed and now we just have to run the command mix actor.create so it kind of creates and compiles all the files and that we just yeah it's currently compiling one file and doing the compilation steps basically this will also take a moment so i'll just skip to the part where the compilation is uh, done and dusted all right the compilation steps are over and now we have to just migrate the database and for that we run the command mix migrate so let me copy it over here and run it over here so yeah, it says migrations already up. You might see a different uh, log over here, but uh, that's not an issue. So let's get back to the blog. Okay, so let's get back to the repository and see how to start the Phoenix server. So it's easy, mix phx.server. Let me go over here and start right there. Okay, it's showing me some warnings, so let's ignore it for now. So yeah, it's currently serving on port 4000. Yeah, or ODLP exporter successfully initialized. Okay, so let's uh, go back to 4000 port. So it's already opened over here. I just have to refresh. And yeah, as the blog post says that we need to focus on just one uh, API slash users. I mean, refresh this page a bit. So we just generate some dummy telemetry data, which would be exported to Cygnos or tell collector. And then we will uh, analyze those like, uh, yeah, it will be seen as Elixir or tell sample. So a couple number of refresh. And yeah, so we are on the Cygnos dashboard and now let me hit refresh. And yeah, as you can see the Elixir or tell sample app or the services over here, the P99 latency, the error rate, the request per second. So these are basically the RED metrics that Cygnos ships with. Let's click on one. And yeah, we have some application latency over here. It shows, let's click on one of the point and uh, view traces for it. But you can also go and view the top endpoints. It will be almost the same. We'll shift to traces tab. And even if you did just, uh, top endpoint so still we'll uh, go to traces tab so in the traces tab this is how it looks like we have some powerful filters over here you can filter by the service name the operation the component or over here by operation service name and by the function of duration of sum, the average of the duration etc you can also sort the minimum and maximum duration under a constraint so under this constraint i don't think we have any trace so let me expand the view yeah and click on any of it to see the trace details. So this is the trace details page. We have currently two spans in this uh, trace. So this uh, this page basically shows the gain chart and flame graph view and the tags associated with each span. So it has two spans and let's click on the second one. And yeah, the microseconds it took is this much. The service name is uh, Elixir Otel Sample. And these are basically the tags associated with it you can also view the events but currently we do not have any events over here but to get a basic uh 
to get a detailed trace chart view, let's go on metrics and click on one of the sample apps that Signal ship, ships with and go to traces and click any of the trace. And yeah, this trace has 50 spans and uh, the red ones that you see actually on the screen are uh, actually the error spans. And I know this because click on this, go to events tab and you will see the error and the error is caused due to Redis timeout. So yeah, this is basically how Signos looks like. Uh, also, you can click on one of this 14 trace, uh, 14 spans, go to select, focus on selected span. And then on the screen, you will only have these 14 spans, kind of a focused view. And if you want to get out of this focused view, just click on reset focus. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You can also go to dashboards and uh, make custom dashboards for your need, create dashboard, go to add panel, and you can create a time series and value-based uh, dashboard over here. We have some samples to show you. And uh, this is actually how the samples look like. You can um, make memory usage, available disk space, CPU, and uh, all kind of raw metrics that is possible. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. If you have any questions about this video, comment down below or um, ask us on our uh, Slack channel, a place where we discuss things around open source observability and APM. Links to everything will be in the description below. And yeah, I'm looking forward to your feedback on how we can make Signals better together. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.